lovely people. How are you guys doing? What up? It's the spookiest time of the year and I still haven't decided what do I want to be for Halloween this year. Do I want to be a witch or a sandwich? I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna be a bunny or something like this. No, that's not what I meant. Maybe something like this. This has been done so many times. I meant something like this. Ew, what oh is that? Goodness. Guys, stop it. This is a chocolate bunny. Someone forgot it in their car and it melted. <laughs> hey, Danny. What? Maybe you can just try to be melted without the bunny. Uh, I don't know. I mean, think about it. Uh. Just do it. Do it. Okay. This makeup look melt me think. How on earth did she do that? And can I do it too? Well, I think you can tell where this is going, so jump in. We're heading to what can possibly go wrong, land. so buckle up. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> so in order to recreate this look, the first thing that I'll need is some foundation. Everything has to be perfectly imperfect. In the <laughs> caption of this Instagram post, they mentioned that it takes about three hours to do this look. Uh, that's cute. But guys, I don't know if I've ever told you that I was gifted with a very special superpower. Yes, my friends. Procrastinating. Wasting my time. That's what it means. It's going to be like nine hours for me. That's cute. I just like taking my time and that's probably why everything takes me so long. I sometimes suspect that my spirit animal is a sloth. Like there is no other explanation. Everything is gonna get done. I just cannot promise you when. I stuck my eyebrows to my forehead. <laughs> they were always connected, but now there is a little more physical contact. Look, they're completely flat. They don't feel fluffy anymore. I feel like I can just peel them off. I'll first take care of my eyebrows. And by take care, I mean mess up. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't want my eyebrows to look like eyebrows today. I'm going for that perfectly distorted look. I forgot to mention that my spirit animal, the sloth, is also a perfectionist. So that's not the best combo. Oh my god, they look like sound waves. <laughs> okay, just some breaking news that we're <laughs> I'm sorry. You know I'm not sorry. They also kind of look like seaweed. Try to picture it. Actually, don't try to picture it. I'm gonna help you a little bit with editing. Check this out. Do you see it now? Okay, good, because my neck is hurting. Now, this next part is the most challenging one. I'm talking about the eyes, so I need to warm up for them. Okay, now I need some ice to cool down from my warm-up. Now the ice should look like melting ice. How we're gonna achieve that? I have no idea. Ice, ice, baby. Oh my god, I just realized something. I can't look angry with these eyebrows. Like, look at that. No matter how hard I'm trying, I look confused. I don't look angry. I wanna be like, hey, that's mine. But I look more like, hey. I think that's yours. Huh. Me. Nee. Huh. Not bad, not good. Huh. Huh. Oh, it was my chair, I swear. Listen. <laughs> my grandma once told me something very wise. I don't remember the exact quote, but it was something along the lines of bad things should never be kept in good people. I think that she was talking about feelings. But it also applies to farts. Like, I'm a good person. <laughs> okay, farts aside, I'm gonna keep on working on the eyes. This is the most challenging part, in my opinion, but it's also my favorite part. I just love a little challenge, you know? It's not my first time trying to recreate an illusion, but... You know, the beginnings are always a little scary. Wait, this is kind of, this thought is kind of burning my brain, so I'm gonna share it with you so that it burns your brain too. Isn't it weird that so many body parts in English sound like some other stuff? Like, eyes, eyes, ears, ears. <laughs> I haven't seen your eyes in so many years. <laughs> mole, mole, I really don't want to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin ice cream for you. You know it's serious when I start talking to imaginary microphone, right? Picture this. You don't have to, I'm gonna help you with editing. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ah! Ah! Moving on. 
Everything is great so far, but there is one thing that will take this look to a whole new level of magnificence. I'm talking about all the little details that you can barely see, but once they're there, everything is so much better. The highlights and the shadows will bring everything to life. Check out the eyebrows and the eyes. This is before I added all the little details and this is after I've added them. This is so awesome. Oh, this is starting. This is, this, ah. <laughs> I'm speechless. I think that's a good sign. I want to mention really quickly that attempting to recreate this particular makeup look is a very daring move on my part. Yes, it is. I feel like I bit more than I could chew. Sometimes I do that literally. Listen, I can do my eyeliner and I can uh, draw a little bit, not a lot. Don't imagine something wow. My skills are pretty basic and this look was created by the queen of makeup illusions. Mimi Choi. I really hope that this is how her name is pronounced. Ah, she's the best. I love her so much. It's very intimidating for me to try to recreate one of her looks because look at the things that she does. If you've never seen her art, oh, you're in for a treat. It's gonna blow your mind. It's also going to make you question your own eyes, not the one you have in the freezer. I think you should definitely go and follow her on her Instagram because we should support the people that make the internet a better place. Thank you. If you look at the original photo, you can see that there are so much drops all over the face. So I'm gonna try to copy that. I think that this is going to be easy, but you know, not everything turns out the way you want it sometimes. So this is quite oddly satisfying. Ooh, I kind of messed it up down here. If you're wondering what product I used to draw the little drops, uh, it was brow gel and I left it unblended for a little too long and now I can't smudge it, I can't blend it, I can't do anything. But that's okay, because now I can give you a very useful advice. Please don't be dumb like me. I mean, shout out to this camera. <laughs> Shout out to this brow gel by Benefit. Once it dries on your skin, it's not going anywhere. It's like the theme song of Friends. I'll be there for you. It's gonna be there for you. This next part for you is going to be like 20 seconds. For me, it was more of like an hour, but that's okay. That's fine. I knew what I was signing up for. I'm adding some shadows, some highlights, and you can see how that makes all the drops look a little more realistic. The perfectionist sloth in me uh, is having a great time right now. I'm starting to look like that meme guy that is sweating profusely. We look exactly the same. Okay, this part makes me a little nervous because <laughs> I'm gonna need to... Uh, I need to be careful because it's my nostrils we're talking about. Hold on, careful, careful. Okay, eyeliner, get in there. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I almost choked on my own saliva. <laughs> oh, all I can smell is eyeliner. Oh, what an adorable Dalmatian. Nope. Those are my nose holes. I don't know, guys. I'm always very nervous when I have to go that close to my nose drills. Why is my camera not focusing on me again? Camera, do we have to do this in every video? Do we? You have one job. Look, it's not focusing. Oh my God, I'm gonna smack it. I have no idea how I'm gonna get that eyeliner out of my nose. As always, my hopes and expectations are very high and I want my version of the look to look as much as like the original one as possible. But that's impossible. That's like trying to make a perfect copy of Mona Lisa. Impossible. It's not a coincidence I'm wearing this black sweater. Oh, no, no. I did it because I don't want to deal with the whole chest thing. It's a lot of work. Plus, it's cold. <laughs> oh my god, my camera doesn't recognize my face as a face anymore. It has this thing where it automatically finds my eye and it focuses on it. It's having a very hard time finding my eye. I don't blame it. I can't even find my own eyes. It's probably in the freezer. It's like, is this an eye? Is this an eye? Is this an eye? Is this an eye? I don't know, where is the eye? I, 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 where are you? I, 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 I. It's 12 o'clock at night and if a thief decides to break into my house, that's going to be the worst timing ever. I have the best security system on my face right now. Hey, you looking for something? Oh no, 
Why are you running? Why are you running? I already called the police. They're taking both of us. Listen, where I live, we don't really celebrate Halloween, so the police is going to have some questions about the situation on my face. It's very slippery, the situation on my face. <laughs> I'm getting hot just by looking myself in the mirror. Like, it looks like it's super hot in here. <sighs> It's 12 o'clock at night, there is no sun. One of the things I'm most excited about is the lips. Now, I don't want them to be flawlessly lined and cover it with a gorgeous layer of lipstick. No, I wanna look like I've applied some lipstick and then went... Yes, that's perfect. Now add all the additional details like highlights, shadows, bloop, bloop, bloop. Whoa, this is one of the spookiest makeup looks I've ever done for Halloween. I look like a slice of cheese in a microwave. It's truly terrifying when I open my mouth. Look at that. Ah! This is exactly how it feels when it's hot outside and I'm trying to do a full face of makeup. Mm hmm It never works. Guys, why don't we try to use some editing to actually make it move? Let's see if I can do that. editing. It's killing me slowly, but I love it. Editing is a pain in the butt, literally. Sitting in front of the computer, editing for so many hours, it hurts my butt. Uh, I wish I could be a little more energetic for the ending of this video, but guys, I am exhausted. I just want to go take a nap. All I want to do is go melt into my bed like butter on a hot toast. This is truly a piece of art, which I'll wash off 10 seconds after I'm done filming. That's so sad. <sighs> so what do you guys think? From 1 to 10, how much would you give my attempt to recreate this absolute masterpiece? I'm gonna give myself 9 out of 10 because I deserve it. No, I really tried my best. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, then why don't you go ahead and check out this one next. This is again one of those videos that took me like 10 hours but it was quite fun. Or you can check out this one. I don't know what YouTube is suggesting to you but it must be good. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.